What's up, guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Check the description for all my information. I do all the hacker and can leak code solutions. I play this on my channel. Um, I almost didn't make a video today. It's 11.42 p.m. I've been grinding on uh, interview prep and mock interviews, but I'm making this video because I want to keep up my streak. It's been a long time since I haven't made a video. So we're doing Valid Palindrome 2. We already did Valid, Palind valid Palindrome 1. And uh, let me just explain what a palindrome is. So a palindrome is a f word that's spelled the same way forward as backwards. It could also be multiple words usually. And, um, you know, but usually we're just going to do it on a word. So we're going to be given a word here, um, a non-empty string actually. So uh, as you can see, race car is the same way forward as backwards. So we have R-A-C-E-A. Oh, God, I'm so sorry I spelled that wrong. That's embarrassing. R I'm reading it. R-A-C-E-C-A-R. R-A-C-E-C-A-R, right? So how do we, um, how did we do it the first time? Well, we, we basically set a pointer. So we're going to have int a pointer is equal to zero. Int b pointer is equal to s dot length minus one. So we have a pointer at the beginning and a pointer at the end. And we move inwards. So we check r versus r a versus a, c versus c, and then we get to e at the end, and then we break. If we make it through, while we loop through, if there's a difference in characters, then it's not a palindrome, right? Because if it, there's a, a difference between r and d, that's not a palindrome. You can't spell it the same way forward as backwards. So uh, that was the first way we did it. So we did while a pointer is less than or equal to b pointer, and then we, um, you know, we did if s dot char at a pointer is not equal to s dot char at b pointer um, then in that last one we would just return false and we just incremented our a pointer because this one started at the beginning and goes to the end and we decremented our b pointer and then if we made it through the whole thing and we didn't have any problems we would just return yeah it's a valid palindrome now how do we what is this one this is given a non empty string you can delete a character so in this case we have we would be going a a okay that's fine b c in our old version we'd say no this isn't a palindrome and it's not but if we can delete a character we have to account for that now so how do we do that well we're just going to use a helper method and we're going to call it with two versions of the string right when we run into a problem so for example a b c a we're going to see we're going to do the regular loop here and we're going to recall we're going to call, call, um, not recursive method. I don't know if I said that or not, but it's not recursive method. Call helper method on two different substrings. And basically what this method is going to do is it gonna, it's going to take the word from where we had the disagreement. So we would forget about the A and we'd, we would split off the letter of we'd try splitting off each different letter and rec and um, do the rest of the problem on those substrings. So it wouldn't work that well in an example like this, but if we had an example like this, right, we would, um, you know, I don't know what kind of example, I don't know what kind of example I'm dealing with. Okay, so something like this maybe. We'd get to, everything would be fine, and we'd get to the B and the C, and we would split off from here, pass this into our new method, and we'd try looping through this one, and we try looping through this one. You know, hopefully this makes sense once I implement it, but let me just implement the helper method. Helper method is going to take a string uh, s, it's going to take int i and int j, right? And it's going to do literally the same thing. So it's going to check the rest of the string, rest of the string with two different versions of the string. And if that doesn't work, we're out of deletion, so it's automatically false. So that's why this will work. I don't know if I'm explaining this well at all. I'll explain one more time at the end. So we do helper method on s at um, a pointer plus one with b pointer. And um, or helper method with um and we're going to return this this will be our final answer because i'll explain it in a second s a pointer b pointer minus one 
right? So we basically chop off the characters that we have a disagreement with. We chop off each one and we pass a different version of a substring in and it loops through the rest of that substring. If that substring, the rest of the substring is a palindrome, after just deleting one character, we're fine. So we just do pass in the two different versions. We try deleting each letter and we pass in two different substrings. And if the substring's fine, then the rest of the string was fine. If not, then it was false. And that's the solution. I mean, I know this was a long video and I wasn't very good at explaining, but I mean, at least we failed the submission. So, I mean, that's something that we can look forward to, right? So why would we fail this? Oh, because we have to just re, we actually have to return false here. So really falling apart. This was a very bad video, but you know what? I'm uploading it because like I said, it's 1148 and I don't want to miss a day. I don't know how you YouTube's algorithm. We're really having a tough time, guys. A pointer is actually going to be set to I and B pointer is going to be set to J and that's how it works. Really bad, but you guess what? I have to upload it. And um, you know what? I have 10 minutes, so I'm going to explain this one more time. And it's a very long video, so I also want to keep it short. We have the A pointer and the B pointer going characters inwards. We check if they're the same. If they're different, we chop off a letter at e at the right side and we pass in the new substring with the left character still there. If that works, that's good. We're true. Or if we chop off the other character and that side worked, that's good. That's true. We're good. So we try deleting a character and we pass in the two different options of the substrings. If one of them is good, then we're good to go. And the, that's a valid substring with one deletion. If not, we don't have any more deletions. So we lose and that's it. Thank you guys for watching. That's my video for the day. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Please criticize me all you want because I know this is a really bad video. All right. See you guys. Thanks.